And we've got a booty band from the closet. We will use that for a few things. You can always ditch it if you don't want. We're gonna use it for a little bit of arm work and then also on the legs. If um, they're too tight on the legs, there's also those other long bands you can just tie it around. That works better for you. My name is Stephanie, we're here for Pilates. When you're ready, we're gonna start laying all the way down on our back. Make sure you have that booty band nearby. We'll grab it in a little bit here. So rolling onto your back. Just find a nice comfortable position. Neutral spine, little pocket of air underneath the low back. Knees are bent, feet flat, shoulders are down. Palms pressed into the mat, fingertips relaxed. Start with our breathing. Inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. Good. A few big inhales and exhales here. Just checking in with your body. Pushing away the thoughts from outside, focusing in here on your practice as you continue here. Inhaling, feeling that rib cage open. Exhale, pull the rib cage together, belly button to spine. Perfect. Knees are bent, feet flat, palms are just still on the mat. Get a little rotation here. Let the knees go one direction as your gaze goes the opposite direction. Just finding some rotation of the spine. Inhale it back to center and exhale to switch. Good, continuing here, just finding some movement to the spine. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Perfect. Good. Pausing back at center. Knees are bent, feet flat. You're gonna open the knees into a nice butterfly. Close the knees. Continuing here, just still finding your breath, warming up, letting those hips open, and bringing it back together. Good, we'll pause with both knees bent, feet flat on the ground. We're gonna take the legs one at a time to tabletop. Right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop. Knees are over the hips, shins are parallel to the ground, starting with some toe taps. Right toe taps down to the mat, bring it back to tabletop. Left toe taps down, back to tabletop, good. Continuing here, finding that hinge from the hip, taking it nice and slow and controlled. As you go through these toe taps, don't let the lower back arch you're going too far if that happens you want to keep the core nice and engaged in that neutral spine position we're going to pause with both legs in tabletop adding on double leg toe tap both toes tap down towards the mat don't let the back arch bring it back to tabletop a few more like this just starting to warm up the core as you go really finding that engagement of those core muscles here Keeping that low back either in that neutral position or pressing down into the mat to protect it. Good, you can always take the arms out to a T if you want that modification. We're gonna do one more like this. Perfect, and then set both feet flat on the mat. Arms come up to 90, palms face away, inhale. Exhale, hands come to the hips. Inhale, back up to 90, 100 prep. For our hundreds here, you can add a chest lift when the hands come to the hips, not required. You can keep your feet flat on the mat. As we go into our hundreds, you can take the legs to tabletop 90 or a challenge position. We'll be pumping our arms five or six inches, deliberate pumps. Breathing in for five counts and out for five counts for 100 counts. On this next one, we'll start pumping for our hundreds. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, 20. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, thirty. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, forty. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, fifty. Halfway done. On your exhales, if you're in that chest lift, try to scoop up one more inch. Good. Maybe you add a challenge on. Maybe you take a hand behind the head if you need that modification. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, seventy. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, eighty. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, ninety. Last step, breathe in. Last step, breathe out. And set it on down. Catch your breath. Take a big inhale and an exhale. 
We're gonna continue warming up the core here, going into our scissors. Right leg straight at 90, left leg 45. Hands can go behind the thigh or the calf. Chest lift optional, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch. The goal is to keep the legs straight here, both legs straight like a scissor. Pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch. Good, warming up the core, breathing in, breathing out. You guys got this, we're here for five, four, three, two, one, set it down, take it, inhale, and an exhale. We're gonna grab that booty band for this next set. So uh, booty band optionally, you can do this without the booty band. Booty band's gonna go on the arches of the feet. So I have it on both arches of the feet. Good. Hands are gonna come behind the head, elbows wide. You can always keep your head down on the mat if you want that modification. Otherwise, I'm gonna come up into a chest lift. Chest lift, hands behind head. We're gonna go single leg stretch. Right knee bends, left leg extends, and switch. Switch, again, you can always set the head down if you need. Find the core muscles here as well. Gaze stays towards the thighs in that chest lift. Breathing in, breathing out, single leg stretch. Good. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Feet to the mat, set the head down, take an inhale and an exhale. We're gonna keep the band on the feet for one more um, here. We're moving into our crisscross neck. So again, hands behind the head, elbows wide, chest lift optional. You're adding on here. Let's come to tabletop. We go right shoulder to left knee, right leg shoots out to 45, and then we crisscross to switch. Rotating, finding that rib to hip oblique work here. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep the elbows wide. Try to stay up in a chest lift through the center. Booty band is optional. You guys got this. Perfect. Warming up those obliques, we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, take an inhale and an exhale. The booty band is gonna slide either um, below the knees or above the knees, depending on how that feels for you. You can always ditch the booty band to at any point. We're gonna go into our bridging next. So knees are bent, feet flat, shoulders down. You have that neutral spine, that little pocket of air underneath the low back. Take the feet about um, hip width there. So you have a little bit of pressure out on that booty band. You can even go a little further if you want a little more. Take the legs together if you want a little bit less with the booty band. Starting with the pelvic rock, inhale, exhale. All we're doing to begin is exhaling, pressing the low back down, finding that little tilt, inhale back to neutral. So nothing's moving except for that low back. It's an inhale neutral, exhale press down. Little scoop, little curl to find the core. Inhale back to neutral. If you have anything going on in the back today, as we go into our bridging, you can hinge up and down instead of rolling through the spine. Good. <laughs> as we continue through our bridging, try to keep that pressure out on the booty band. We're gonna inhale. Exhale, press the low back down, slowly lift, one bone at a time, lifting your hips. Into that diagonal, squeeze the glutes at the top, inhale, exhale, nice and slow, rolling all the way back down. Good, continuing here with your breath, nice and slow and controlled, rolling up, <clears throat> keeping that pressure out on the booty band. Even pressure in the feet, no strain in the neck or the shoulders. So we warmed up the front body with those core exercises. Now we're warming up the posterior chain, the back, the glutes. On this next one, we're just gonna hold up in that bridge, holding nice and strong, glutes are active. Kneecap shoot away, one inch up, one inch down. Little hip dips. Good, breathing in, breathing out. Squeeze the glutes as you press up. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Hold up, keeping the hips lifted, glutes active. Open the band, close the band. Open the band, close the band. Working those outer thighs. You guys got this. We're here for five. Keep the core closed. Three, two, one. Inhale, exhale nice and slow. Roll all the way back down. Good, extend the legs up to 90 for a second. Get a little hamstring stretch. <clears throat> uh, 
All right. <clears throat> you can stick with that first option, keeping both feet flat on the mat. Otherwise, we're going to add on. <clears throat> we're going to single leg bridging. Left foot stays on the mat. Right leg comes to tabletop. If you need to adjust the band, you can move it up or down. Again, it's okay if it's, if it's a little bit not all the way to tabletop. You're still going to find that bridge. Inhale. Exhale. Press up into your bridge. Inhale. Exhale. Come back down. You should really start to feel those outer thighs as we hinge up and down in that single leg bridge. Try to keep the hips level as you come up and down. Good job, guys. On this next one, we're holding up. Hold up in that single leg bridge. Tap the right toe down. Back up. Good. We're here for five. You got it. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Hinge down. Good job, guys. Other side. Not there for long, but you should be starting to feel it. Right foot down on the mat. Left leg to tabletop, starting with that bridge. Inhale. Exhale. Hinge up. Inhale. Exhale. Hinge back down. Good. Continuing here. <clears throat> Try to keep those hips level as you press up. Neck and shoulders are relaxed. We're going to hold up on this bridge. Left toe tap down and back up. Keep the hips lifted. Keep the um, pelvis tilted there. You don't want to arch the back. We're here for three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, hinge down. Good. We're going to take the band back to the arches of the feet to get a nice stretch. So you can use that band to find your hamstring stretch here. Optional, point and flex the toes if that feels good. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. We're gonna set the band off to the side. Legs come out back to the mat. Arms are gonna come up to 90, palms face each other. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest. We're gonna see her rolling all the way up. You can always grab the thigh. Get a nice forward fold. And then we'll stack back up nice and tall. We're gonna be seated here for a minute. And we'll grab the band here in a second. Let's take feet about um, hip width apart. Arms are gonna come out in front. Zombie arms, pull those shoulder blades down. We're gonna inhale, exhale. We're gonna reach forward as you press the low back behind. Gaze goes down, sitting spine stretch. Inhale to stack back up nice and tall. Good. Exhale, reach. Imagine your spine is a capital C. Inhale, back up. Couple more like this. Really pressing that low back away as you reach forward. Whole belly button to spine. Good. Last one here. And stack it back up nice and tall. A little shoulder roll. Take a big inhale and an exhale. Arms are going to come out to a T. Palms facing down. Pull those shoulder blades down. Inhale. Exhale. Pulse, pulse. One direction. Back to center. Pulse, pulse. The other way. Good. Try to imagine your spine is going up and over. So you're finding length here. The sits bones are nice and grounded, and you're finding the twist here in the core. So less shoulder work, more core work. Let's go one more side to side here, finding that rotation of the spine. Good. Shoulders down, butterfly the knees, take a little forward pull. All right, we're gonna add the band for this last one here. So legs are gonna go out in front. I'm gonna put the band over my left arch of the foot, and then my right hand is gonna hold the band. Again, you wanna be squared off towards the front there, so pull those shoulder blades down. Hand is holding the band. Opposite hand is gonna come to the head. You're stacked up nice and tall, gaze forward. You're gonna pull back as you rotate open return to start. So it's like a narrow row with that right hand. You're going to open up to the left side to rotate. Return it back to start. A few more like this. Pulling narrow row, open. Return to start. Try to keep the wrist strong here. Again, we all have different kinds of bands, so it's going to feel different. 
for each of us here. We're gonna hold back on this last one. Pull, narrow row, open. Little pulse, reach that elbow back. Twisting, yeah, we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Return to start, we'll go other side. Band over the right arch of the foot. Left hand holds the band. Right hand comes behind the head. Again, try to square off first. Shoulders are down. You're gonna pull back narrow row over to the right. Return to start. Good. Pull narrow row and open. And you can do this without the band if you don't have the band. Good. Breathing in, breathing out. Try to keep both feet on the mat, not moving. We have two more like this. Finding that resistance here. Last one, we're gonna hold little pulses. Band goes down, we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back, take the band off. Good, band sets to the side, little forward fold, butterfly the knees. Let's go four point kneeling. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Getting a cat cow stretch. Inhale, press your low back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, create that arch. Just moving between flexion and extension. Getting a nice stretch for the spine. Pulling those shoulders down. Doing this in a range that works for you. in a neutral spine position, we're going to warm up our plank. So I'm going to cue straight arm plank, but you can always uh, modify if you need to. Pressing out into that straight arm plank, find your position. Wrist under shoulders, gaze at your fingertips. You're going to press up into a nice down dog stretch. Take an inhale and exhale here. Flow right back down into your plank. So we're just going between a plank and the down dog, just warming up that full body and also getting that nice down dog stretch. We're gonna do one more like this. Hold your plank. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Press up into down dog. Pedal out the legs if that feels good. Get a nice stretch. And then walking feet in towards hands, shifting weight into feet. Inhale, exhale, nice and slow. Pull all the way back up. Good job, guys. Grab a drink of water if you'd like. Um, we're gonna go into a little balance set next, but we're gonna use the band as well. So, if you grab a drink of water, also pick up your band. All right. Can band is optional, you can do this without the band. It is gonna snap and we do have to bend a little bit over. So, I'm gonna put band under the right arch of the foot. Band is under the right arch of the foot. Good. I'm gonna hold that band with the right hand. I have a little bit of a squat, hinge forward. I want the back nice and flat though. Back is neutral, so shoulders are pulled down. You're gonna hinge forward, reaching, and then come back up to a standing. So a little bit of hinge, let's keep legs straight. Reaching forward, as you come up, press the hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Good, again, you can do this without the band, it would just look like this. You're reaching forward, you're pressing the hips forward, squeezing the glutes. You can do it standing, without the band, or with the band. Good. You should feel that back glute as you hinge forward. Keep the shoulders forward here. So shoulders are forward, find that glute. Straight, flat back the whole time. Good, we're gonna do one more like this. Find that glute as you press up. Bring it down, we switch. Band goes under the left foot, left hand pulls. Again, kind of in that staggered stance here. Shoulders down, we stand up, press the hips forward. Shoulders come down, feel the glutes here. Bring it up, squeeze the glutes. Bring it forward, keep those shoulders back. Gaze can stay forward here. Again, you could do it without the band, it'll just look like this. Good. Feeling that glute as you press forward. A few more on this side. One more like this. Good. 
hinge it forward, step off of the band. All right, we're gonna take the band into the hands now. Okay, in hand. Okay, so I'm gonna have it just kind of um, on the outside of the wrist there. We're gonna take the hands up overhead. Good, we're gonna get a little bit of lateral flexion here. So you're gonna just kind of lift up the right foot, little elbow, and then stand up. Good, elbow, stand up. If you wanna add on, you're gonna take your right hand here. We're gonna go one side first. Right hand holds the band, left hand is just straight. You're gonna pull down, bring it back up. Try to keep the left hand straight. Right elbow to knee, stand up. You should feel here. This is where you wanna feel your oblique. Bring it in and up. Keep the left hand straight, elbow to knee, lateral flexion, good. A few more like this, pulling down with the hand. Good, let's do two more like this. A little bit of balance work to keep your balance here. Last one, you should feel the shoulders here too. Bring it back down. We switch. Now the right hand will stay straight. Left hand can hold the band. Good. Again, finding that lateral flexion. Elbow to knee. Bring it back up. Elbow to knee. Bring it back up. You're going to feel shoulders here. Keep the shoulders down. Breathing in, breathing out. A little bit of balance. Keeping your balance here. When you take elbow to knee, really find that side here. We have two more. You got it. Last one. Good, bring it all the way back down. Roll out the shoulders for a second. Take a big inhale and an exhale here. <laughs> We're gonna find those lunge stance here. So it's gonna stay in the hand. Right, I'm gonna do right foot forward, left foot back to start. Good, all right. Let's um, take it into the hand. So I'm gonna hold it with the hands instead of the outside of the wrist. Good, right hand, right foot are gonna stay how they are. You're gonna bend, bow and arrow, tap the knee down, little lunge. Good. You can rotate if you want, not required. Few lunges here, finding our balance. Rotate, bow and arrow, stand up. Good, breathing in, breathing out. Good, you can do this without the band. You'll just be holding your arms out in front. Good, let's do two more on this side. You don't have to go all the way down. Last one. Bring it forward, we switch. Almost done here. Left foot forward, right foot back. Hands out in front, bow and arrow. Lunge, good. A few more, you don't have to go all the way down. You decide, find your balance. Back is nice and neutral. Don't let the flex forward. Good, getting the heart rate up a little bit. You guys got this, let's do two more. Last one. Good. Set the band off to the side. Catch your breath. Feet are parallel. We're gonna inhale, arms up. Exhale, up and over. Walking back down, four point kneeling. Let's get a shoulder stretch. The right arm reaches up. Thread the needle underneath the left armpit. Good. Nice stretch here, you can pull down, flow through the movement, do what works for you. On this last one, if you want to hold the shoulder down, <clears throat> find that nice stretch. And we'll go other side. When you're ready, four point kneeling. Left arm up, thread the needle. Nice stretch. Feel like someone's pulling the fingertips each way to really get deeper into that stretch. Gaze goes with the hand. So let's put the booty band on before we go onto our side. Again, it can go above the knees or below the knees. And then I'm gonna face this way on my mat in that sideline position. Back is gonna be flat to the back of the mat. Hips are stacked, ankles are stacked. 
You can be laid all the way down, propped up on the elbow or on the forearm. So there's lots of options here. Do what works for you. Booty band's gonna create extra resistance. Ditch it at any point if it gets to be too much. Good. If you're up on the forearm, I want nice lifted sides, shoulders nice and strong. Otherwise, take it down here. Good. Lift and lower to start. We're in a parallel position here. You should feel that top leg, top glute. You wanna keep those hips stacked, not letting the body roll forward or roll backward. Same pace up and down, resisting the band. We're working that top glute. Good, looks good, guys. We're gonna hold up, little pulses up for five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, take it, inhale, and an exhale. Good, lift up hip height, point the toe, golf ball size circles. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down, take an inhale and an exhale. You can always pound out the glute if you're feeling it. Let's bend the knees, 90 degree bend. We go into our clam next. Open, close, heels stay together. Again, with the clam, it's easy to roll backwards. Make sure those hips stay nice and stacked. If you're feeling it too much on the shoulder, you can always bring it down here. You want more of a challenge. Arm could go up towards the ceiling. Less help with balance there. Good, lots of options. We're gonna hold open, let little pulses for five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, one more set. You should be feeling those glutes. Elevated clamp, heels lift, open, close. Last little set here, push through, find that top glute. Breathing in, breathing out. Almost done, guys, nice, strong. Let's hold it open and pulse for five, four, Three, two, one, set it down, extend the legs. We have one more on this side, but we're not really using the band. We're gonna go into um, a little side lift. So for this one, I recommend laying all the way down, either propped up on the elbow or all the way down. And for that top hand, it needs to be on the mat here. Good, hips are stacked, squeeze the legs together. You're gonna lift up both legs, lower. Lift up and lower. Try to find that top lateral flexion there. Good. Hips stay stacked, finding that side flexion, using that top hand to help. We're gonna hold up, little pulses for five, four, three, two, go on, set it down. We'll stretch at the end so we can keep the band on. So I'm gonna flip other side. And turn around, or flip which way you're on your mat, adjust the band if you need. We're going lift and lower to start. You guys know what's coming. Nice and parallel position. Band creates a lot of extra resistance here. Good. We hold up and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Lifting it up, hip height, golf ball size circles, rotating the glute. Hip, it's from the hip, not the ankle for six. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, bend the knees, 90 degree bend. We go clam, open, close. Hips stay nice and stacked. You have those different options with the hands. You decide. Band might just move a few inches. Do what works for you here. Good, we're gonna hold open and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Elevated clam, last one here, you guys got it. Push through, strengthening that top glute. Good. We hold open and pulse, feel that burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, roll onto your, oh, we gotta do the bananas. So either laid all the way down or on that elbow, legs extend back straight, top hand goes to the mat, lift and lower. 
Finding that lateral side flexion, those obliques. You guys got it. Nice controlled movement here, balancing on that hip. We hold up and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Now we set it down, roll onto your back. Take that booty band off. We're gonna take one ankle, cross it over the opposite thigh, pulling that leg in towards you. Maybe you rock side to side, finding a nice figure four stretch. Pound out the glute if you need, if that feels good. Catching your breath. And then we'll switch other side. Ankle over thigh, pulling it in towards you. to our belly. So we're going to go prone one set of extension here. So on our belly, hands go right underneath shoulders, forehead is down to the mat. Feel like you can lift the belly button up, extend the toes, feel like the thighs can lift up off. We're going to inhale, exhale, press up into your swan. Inhale to come back down. If you have any back issues, limit the range of motion. But you want to feel like your back is a flat board, not like you're arching the low back. As you come up, Lengthen the spine, feel like the belly button is coming towards the spine there, and pull the shoulder blades back. Good. Let's do two more. Last one. And then press on back into a nice child's pose position, get that counter stretch. We are almost to the end, guys. stretch variation. So for this last um, little push through stretch here, I'm going to be cueing on the knees. If that is too much for you, you can do seated or legs out in front. It's just going to be some arm stuff here with the band. We are going to add a thigh stretch at the end. So I'm going to cue on the knees, but if that's not available to you, you can go seated. Okay, so up on the knees, we're going to take that band Band is going to go again on the outside of the wrists. All right, shoulders are back. Toes, shoelaces are pressing into the mat. Squeeze the glutes, hips are forward. You're stacked up nice and tall. We're going to start with just the lift up in front and back down. We can add on. So you can stay here. If you want to add on, you're going to lift it up, open a little bit, close, bring it back down. Feeling the shoulders relax there. Good. A little combo move, you decide. Again, if it's too much on the knees, you can do this seated. Good. One more like this. Bring it down. We add on. We're going to go all the way up, all the way back down. A few like this, just finding the movement. And then if you want to add on, you're going to lift it up, little open close, bring it back down. Lift it up, open close, bring it back down. Good. A little resistance here on the arms and the shoulders. Glutes are active, hips are forward. You're using your core to keep your balance. Let's do two more like this. One more set. Coming back up again. You can stay seated either way. We're going to go, we're going to start down here. So hands are down at the sides. We're going to open up, come up to here, and then twist it back to start. Other side, twist it up, bring it back down. Good. Other side. Try to keep the hips and shoulders squared off. So even though we're finding that twist there, we're still facing forward, feeling this in the arms, the shoulders. 
soldiers here by Mimi Circles. Good. On this next one, we're going to hold up at the top. Little side bend to one side. Up. Side bend to the other side. One more side to side here. Keep the hips squared off. Glutes active. You got it. Almost done. Bring it all the way back down. Take an inhale and an exhale. Arms are just going to come up shoulder height. Rotate. Bring it back. Rotate. Keep the hips squared off. Good. Pull the shoulders down. You can do it without the band if the band is too much. Keeping those shoulders pulling down. Good. One more side to side. You guys got this. Bring it down. Take an inhale and an exhale. We're going to add on. Final is going to be the thigh stretch. So it's going to be less arms, more core here. Again, if the band's getting too much, ditch the bands. Your arms can just come out in front. Back up into that kneeling position. Shoelaces are pressing down. Arms come out and forward. Squeeze the glutes. Hips forward. You're going to hinge back. Finding a thigh stretch. Hinge it forward. Again, if the band is too much, you can ditch it. Keep the back nice and flat. You should feel core. You should feel that stretch on the thighs. You guys got this. A couple more like this. On this next one, holding back. Maybe lift and lower the arms. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. You guys got this. Complete the move. Set it down. Press on back. Nice child pose position. Good job, guys. straight out in front, crisscross or classic mermaid. You decide if you're going mermaid. One hand goes to ankle, other arm out to T. If you're in a crisscross or legs out in front, you just pick which way you're going. Pull the shoulders down and go up and over towards that ankle. Good. Inhaling back. Exhaling over. One more like this. And finding your counter stretch the other way. We'll go other side. If you're in that mermaid Z sit, try to keep both hips down, still squared off. One hand to ankle, other arm out to T. straight out in front. Make sure you have enough room to roll back down. Arms out in front. Inhale, exhale, nice and slow. Rolling all the way back down. Make sure you've got that band with you. We're going to get some stretches here. Band goes over just the right arch of the foot. Point and flex that right toe using the band to find that hamstring stretch here. And then taking that leg out to the side. YZ stretch. Back to 90, taking it into the left hand, crossing it across. IT band stretch. Cooling down, checking in with your body. Back up to 90, take it back in the right hand, half happy baby. Knee in towards the armpit, sole of the foot up towards the ceiling, or find a different stretch, whatever stretch feels good for this right leg. Maybe you bend and extend. Good. Extend that leg back up towards the ceiling. We're going to go other side. You can switch. Put the left foot in. Left hand holds the band. Finding that hamstring stretch to start. Point and flex. Use the band to help with that stretch. Take it out to the left side. YZ straddle stretch. Up to 90, right hand grabs the band, cross it across, IT band stretch. Back up to 
to 90, left hand grabs, and maybe you find that half happy baby, knee in towards the armpit, soles the foot up towards the ceiling. Maybe you bend and extend, just do what stretch feels best for you here. Extending that leg up towards the ceiling, we'll take off the band, reach that leg nice and long down. And take both arms up to 90 now, getting a stretch here. Right arm goes back, left arm goes forward like a scissor with the arms, back to 90. And switch. Good, pause with both arms back at 90, palms face the way, tap the elbows down like a chicken wing, reach back up, nice stretch here. Opening up the chest, reaching those fingertips back up towards the ceiling. Pausing at 90, we're going to open the arms out to a T, palms facing up. Little snow angel, fingertips hover off the ground, hands can come back up towards the hips, and then back up like you're doing a snow angel. Getting that nice stretch, reaching those fingertips. yourself or roll yourself back up to seated. We'll finish in a seated position here. When you're ready, king of crisscross applesauce your legs out in front, whatever works best for you. We're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach forward, find a nice forward fold stretch. Take your hands over to the right side of the mat. Back to center, left side of the mat. Center. Walk the hands back in. Inhale up. Exhale. Reach back behind. Gaze goes up towards the ceiling. Maybe let your head rock side to side. Getting a stretch on the neck there. Breathing in, breathing out. And then walking it back in. And inhale up. Exhale. Switch to one side. Look behind that shoulder. Twist to the other side, looking behind that shoulder there. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, side bend. Center. Other side. Center. Exhale, hands away. Gonna inhale, arms up. Exhale, away. More like this. Inhaling up nice and slow. Exhale out your mouth. Last one here. We're going to inhale up. Hands to heart center. You guys are all set. Thank you guys so much.